This problem came from a PSLE exam. I changed the context of the problem for uh, copyright issues. It's a fairly challenging problem that 7th graders in Singapore are expected to know. 6th to 7th graders. Um, it's taken by students who are about 12 years old. So give this problem a shot. They don't know a lot of algebra at this point, so this problem is taught to them visually. And I'm going to give you my visual Singapore style solution that follows this um, video or this in the second portion of the video you will be able to see the visual solution so I would encourage you to try the problem on your own first and then try to try to find out how you would explain it to a 12 year old person how would you do that you cannot probably use a lot of algebra or symbolism but you can certainly use pictures or other forms of explanations with 12 year olds so Try the problem. Let's go ahead and read the question before we discuss the solution. Dan had 50% fewer stickers than Jeff. After Jeff gave 15 of his stickers to Dan, Dan had 40% fewer stickers than Jeff had after he gave away 15 of his stickers. How many stickers did Dan have at first? It's a challenging problem to understand and process, so go ahead, give this problem a shot and my video. Well, when we say that Dan had 50% fewer stickers than Jeff, that simply means Dan had half as many stickers as Jeff did. That's all the first line is telling me, this line. And you have to keep that straight. Okay, this is 50% of Jeff's sticker, and that's the amount that's missing in Dan's pile, from Dan's pile. Okay, then what happens? Then what happens is this. Dan, uh, sorry, Jeff gave 15 of his stickers to Dan. Now I'm going to pretend some of the stickers right here, they move to Dan's pile. And this is how I'm going to represent it visually. So this little piece comes here. And this is not a part of Jeff's collection anymore. This becomes a part of Dan's collection. This is what Jeff has now and this is what Dan has now and we're being told that this difference let me change the color and this is crucial this difference between Jeff's collection and Dan's collection the current difference not the original one the current difference between the two collections is 40%. This is 40%. I'm going to write here. Sorry. Let me put it here so that I can read it. This is 40% this is of Jeff's current collection. That's what this line tells us and you have to get it. And it's hard. It's a difficult line to follow and understand and interpret, but that's what it's saying. So the difference between the two collections is 40% of what Jeff has now. That's understanding the question. So you want to pause the video here and make sure you absolutely agree with this interpretation. This is what the question means and the, based on this interpretation we're going to follow through and finish this problem. Now here is where it gets really difficult. So as before we said this piece belonged to Jeff but now belongs to Dan. It comes here. And in our previous slide we discussed that this has to be 40% of Jeff's current collection which is represented by the blue strip. This is just a recap of the previous um, scene or set of slides however you want to see it. So this is 40 percent. This is 40 percent. Okay now this has to be same as 15 because that's what Jeff gave Dan. 
this is 15 so look at this part this was half of Jeff's original collection which had 15 plus 40 percent plus 15 so that tells me if I use this model to cut this in a very similar way I will have a 40 percent here of Jeff's current collection and I will have 15 here 15 here 15 here that's really exactly 45 stamps 45 stickers I'm sorry stickers now what we can infer from this picture we are still talking about the blue strip we are being told that this is 40% of the blue strip this is 40% of the blue strip and then 20% has to be the 45 stickers so right now from this picture we can infer that 20% of Jeff's current collection is equivalent to 45 stickers this is another difficult step so I'm gonna say 20% of Jeff's current collection is same as 45 stickers and that comes from the picture okay here's the description here's the, the picture describes it right here this has to be 40 percent so I cut this up exactly the same way this has to be 40 percent and this is 15 stickers plus 15 here plus 15 here so if 20 percent of Jeff's current collection is 45 this must be 90 I'm gonna change the color this 40 percent must represent 90 stickers this 40% must represent 90 stickers so I'm gonna write 90 this represents 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 stickers okay plus the 45 stickers in green and I'm gonna write 45 here and if I add them up and I'm running out of space if I add them up I'm gonna use red so I'm gonna put it right here 180 plus 45 is 225 225 so right now Jeff has 225 stickers now the question wants us to find how many stickers did Dan have at first okay that's not too complicated Dan had this many stickers at first sorry sorry again Dan had this many stickers at first okay which is basically half of Jeff's original stickers now if Jeff has 225 stickers he gave 15 away so he must have had 225 plus 15 he must have had 240 stickers if Jeff had 240 stickers this whole original rectangle for Jeff had to be 240 so the original rectangle for Dan was half of that half of 240 is 120 and let's find write our final answer in blue so Dan originally had 120 stickers that's my final answer and it's a fairly challenging problem to solve for anyone and many adults will struggle with the problem um, now think about seventh graders. They will find it pretty challenging as well.